Hello and guten tag to Wolfgang Agusluch Stahlhagel. Today I'm taking out one of my favorite planes right now, the Spitfire F Mark 16. I'm flying here at the Ruhr event and I think it's a pretty fair matchup. You will mostly encounter Focke Wolf 190s, some Messerschmitt, some BF 109s, but of course you will encounter some HE 162s, some early German jet fighters. But nevertheless, they are the early jet fighters and they shouldn't be any problem for the Spitfires or the Tempest. One of my favorite things here in the Spitfire Mark 16 and even the Spitfire Mark 9 is the good climb rate. You can even climb with the BF 109s, even late variants, as you can see here. There is the first opponent and he already got critted by the other Spitfire and he is now coming for me, but I will avoid the head on. Oh, that was close. I think it only was a machine gun round that hit me. If this was a 30mm gun or a 30mm shell, it would have wrecked me already, so that was close. Let's dive after this Lee guy there. It's a 109K. We should be able to outmaneuver him, but we can't outrun him, so. We have to get him to turn fight. Uh, okay. Hi, yo yo. Full power to the engine. And let's get him. Okay, I think he tries to run away. Oh no, he's turning. Okay. Place in our cards. Now I'll get him. Turning. Yeah, critted him. That's good. I think he's badly damaged. You can see the way he's flying. Sparks. Okay, I think he's done. Yeah, I think he's done. Let's. Oh, that's a jet. He's avoiding the head on. He exactly knows how fragile these early German jets are. One hit of my 50 cals, or even worth one hit of my 20 mils, and it will burn down, burning down the house. I think I will not uh, pursue this guy furthermore. But ah, I don't care. Let's let's pursue him and uh, ensure the kill. Yeah, nobody's really coming up to me. What about this jet down there? Uh, no, he's going down. Okay. I don't think anyone is pursuing me here, so I can try to ensure the kill there. If he stays low, I think we will catch him. Um, oh, that's a 162 coming after me. Let's loop. Yeah, he has no chance to catch me in a turn fight. I can easily do a loop and um, avoid his um, try to get me. And there's a 152 coming after me. Yeah, same again. Evasive maneuver and it works. Oh, 162. There he is. Nah, missed my shot. Whoa! That was close. <laughs> and he crashed. He was a little bit too fast, I guess. I think I really used my luck for the whole day there. <laughs> that was really, really close. I think it was a Falker Wolf um, 190A8. And we got the kill of the Lee guy before. So it was not even necessary to pursue him. So it was the right decision. But in fact it was not the right decision. The 162 was coming after me, so it was the right thing to do to avoid him. 
but as I mentioned before, I did use my luck for the whole day there. If this fucker wolf A8 would have hit me, I would be wrecked right now, I can guarantee you that. Oh, maybe I have a shot there at the 162, would be perfect. These things are so fragile, it's easy to kill them. Yeah, he's come in. Ah, I missed my shot. That was close. And did he cra He crashed into another Spitfire, I guess. Yeah, exactly what's happening. Ah, yeah. Let's see if we can get these BF109 down there. Should be no problem with my... Yeah, nobody's behind me. With my um, license-produced Packard engine. It's in fact a Merlin engine for low altitude. And we can generate enough power to catch up to a BF109 uh, at uh, low ground or low altitude. I don't like what's going on above me, a 152 and a 162. I think I break up the pursue and get some altitude. Here you can see what the Spitfire is not very good at. It's not a very good zoom climber. It loses um, energy very quickly. And uh, yeah, I misused the plane there to gain some altitude very quickly. Anyway, I, th I think the 109 there is running for the base. I think it's the guy um, from the beginning, the guy who got um, critically damaged and uh, now has to rearm or repair. Um, let's see what I can do here. I don't think I can catch up with a 152. No, he's running away. And the other one down there is a Jet 2. So I think the right thing to do now is to climb a little bit more to get some energy back, some potential energy. In comparison to the Mark 9, I think the Mark 16 is an upgrade because um, the armament is slightly better. Instead of the 7.7mm uh, guns, it has the 50 cals and still has the 20mm guns. So the armament is um, clearly better and um, the performance is kind of the same. The 152 turned around and I think he may come after me and try to do a head-on. Yeah, he's trying to do a head-on. Let's avoid him. Yeah. It's really better to do not a head-on with German um, planes from this area. They all, all kind of have a 20 mil or even a 30 millimeter gun and if you're dumb enough to do a head-on with a 152 or a BF-109 with additional guns or gun pods, you're just stupid. Um, if you're not killed the pilot instantly, um, they will wreck you in a head-on. And the Spitfire is so much more maneuverable, you can really use that to your advantage. And look here, I can catch up with the TAR, the 152, because I have a head and energy advantage and he did not use his advantage. He really lost a lot of energy um, trying to turn with me um, after the head-on. And I think now I can get him and have a really good shot at him. The Spit Mark 16 can generate so much power on low ground, it's even very possible to um, run away for a 152 or a late 109 variant. Oh look, up there. He has no energy at all. He just made an, a loop and maybe I can get him and... Yes! Pilot kill! Perfect. I think it was lucky again. And the tar... The 152 really tried to turn... Oh! He's, no, he's not crashing. He really tried to turn and and now he's easy prey. He's on low ground and... Uh, I can wreck him with my 50 health. And <laughs> he broke his wing. Always remind, if, if you fly a 152, your wings are longer than you might think. Yeah, buddy, I've seen him. Okay, let's check the base real quick. I have seen one taking off. But I haven't seen the 109 until now. 
Normally I don't kill people that are repairing. I will kill them after they have taken off. But I don't like um, to kill them if they landed and trying to repair. Um, most people do. I don't like to do that. And oh, okay, okay, there he is. There's the 109. Maybe I. Maybe I haven't seen the 152. Maybe it was the 109. It did not show up as a marker. It, okay, there's the 152. Both are here, and I think I should wait for my Typhoon companion here and do some fake maneuvers, some fake attacks to lure them into a turn fight or even make them lose some energy. Let's do the first fake attack. I pretend to going after this 109 there and yeah, he breaks and I will climb up again. There's the 152. What I really have to look at is the 152's climb, zoom climb ability. Yeah, and there he comes. Okay, let's do a sideways invasive maneuver. Because if you're zoom climbing and you have not much energy, you can't really do a turning in a zoom climb. And now he has no energy at all. He just flipped over and now I can get it. Yes, set him on fire, okay. And hit some sparks after it. I think that should do it for the 152. Yeah, I think he's going down. The TAR is taking a lot of damage due to the fire and uh, um, there's the 109. Let's see how much energy he has left. Oh, he's coming in really, really quick. Um, up here at 3000 meters we lost all our advantage um, from the low altitude optimized engine. And the 109 and the Spit Mark 16, the 109K and the Spit 16. Okay, we got the kill by the way. Up here we are nearly equal. Oh wait, it's a G version. So we should be able to outrun or at least be as fast as him. What I'm going to do now is I will uh, turn very hard and then try to um, get my Typhoon companion um, closer to us. So it's an unfair fight, and unfair fights, as you might know, are the best fights. Let's start the turn. Evade. Roll. Roll back. Oh, that's that. No, he's breaking. He's breaking. He had not shot at us. And now climb back up. And the typhoon is here. So now it's kind of an unfair fight. If he's focusing um, at one of us, the other one can take advantage of that. And that should do it, that should be pretty much it. I think we can outfight this guy here. Let's climb up a little bit. And uh, where did... Oh, they both crashed! I think it was a desperate move of the 109, trying to go to a head-on with a Typhoon. But it's never a good idea to do a head-on with a Typhoon. And I think we won this match. I hope you had fun watching this. And um, I hope you do the best on the battlefield. See you next time. Bye.